Hey everyone, so today we are talking about the changes of fall and really how that affects you, how it affects me, how it affects our health in general. So with each season has unique changes, right? So um, with spring we have changes, winter we have changes, summer even, and fall. So in fall our weather is starting to change, um, Weathers are shifting. Um, we're we're getting lots of we're we're eating lots of pumpkin spice and making lots of banana bread and you know different things like that. Just enjoying the seasonal things, but you know we're getting shorter days, right? Um, our time changes, uh, as well as school starts and schedules get kind of different and shift. Um, that brings more activities. That brings homework and class projects and festivals and all different things that are fun um, and, and a part of the season, but it's a change. And anytime there is a change in our environment, in our time, in our weather, it's going to throw our bodies off kilter just a little bit and we have to shift. So that being said, in what ways, like I said, does our body shift during the fall? I mentioned some of them already with the weather changes and our bodies coming in contact with new kinds of environmental threats, uh, you know, as far as just just the allergens that are out there. Maybe you have, you know, mold or grass or, you know, whatever is in the air during the fall, maybe you're a little more sensitive to that. So um, that is a shift and a change that would happen in the environment that could affect you. Also, in starting in the fall with the weather changes, we're starting to spend more time indoors. So we're not getting that natural vitamin D that we would get when we can just go and spend all, you know, we spend the summer, I mean, I don't know about you, but we're at the pool like every day. We're out and about in the sun because you don't wanna go out in South Texas unless there's gonna be water in the middle of summer. So in, in the fall though, we are spending more time indoors. We're we're in school. We're do, we're doing certain different activities. The weather might not be favorable for outside, you know, with rain and storms coming through. So that is a shift. When we're not getting that vitamin D we need, our body has to shift and change. Also, um, you know, like I said before, with that time change. We're about to go into a time change, and every time that happens my body gets thrown off. I get thrown off, my sleep is thrown off, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about the way that sleep affects us, but again, that's a change, that's a shift, and it throws us off just a little bit. So, how can the doTERRA products help us with these shifts and these changes? Because they absolutely can and do help us. Well, how it helps us with supporting our healthy brain function, and that's something we definitely need and longer work days and for our kids in school. We want their brains to be functioning well so they can intake more information and really be less stressed overall. So anytime that we're learning something new, even as adults, our brain is put under stress. So that could be even just reading a new book. Um, that could be, you know, doing a crossword puzzle, and, and anytime our brain is thinking and learning something, there's a, a measure of stress there, and it needs to be supported. So how can we do that? We do that with essential fatty acids. So they have absolutely been shown to support healthy brain function, essential fatty acids. So which ones, right? You have essential fatty acids that are omega-6s and then omega-3s, and what's the difference between those? So omega-6 fats are really important. They're important for our brain function, but they're very popular in our diet. So they're probably not ones that we need to supplement extra in our body. So those are typically found in vegetable oils such as um, linoleic acid, which is LA. Um, and they're, like I said, they're, there's a lot of them in our typical American diet. Uh, so the problem with that is that omega-6s, when they're in overabundance, can actually create more inflammation in our bodies. So 
if we were to supplement extra with them, that'd probably be even in more abundance. In fact, we're even eating in our diet more of them than we, we actually need. Um, our diet contains about 14 to 20 time, 25 times more omega-6 than omega-3. So we need to bring that back more into a balance, right? So that we aren't creating extra stress on the body, which will be creating extra stress on our brain and not giving it what it needs. So the optimal consumption of omega-6 ratio to omega-3s is a one-to-one -one ratio, okay? So we obviously need support in the omega-3 area, right? To be giving us more of those and doTERRA has definitely covered that for us with the liquid um, omega IQ omega for the children and then the XE omega for adults which is in the lifelong vitality pack vitamins now I love the kids liquid omega I give it to my own children and um, I have some kids that really really like it and I have my oldest is a seven-year-old and she just doesn't really like it that much and so I have to sneak it in things right you can um, put it in juice a little bit of orange juice it's or orange flavor it has wild orange in it um, you can put it in smoothies and, and different things my other two will just take it off the spoon <laughs> they just love they love the way it tastes and, and they like it they think it's like a special treat so um, sneak it into things, but that's an important thing to give our children absolutely daily. It doesn't have to be in the morning. It can be like an after school thing where you they come home from school and you give make them a great smoothie um, with lots of great ingredients and, and drop that omegas in there. And then of course taking the XE Omega is really important for us, um, not just to support our brain, but also lots of other functions in our body but it is absolutely crucial to our function. So also, number two, promoting calmness and decreasing our stress. How can doTERRA products do that for us? Well, we have some really powerful, beautiful, calming essential oils that help us with our stress by just diffusing them during the day making yourself your own custom roller and keeping that with you and rubbing it on the places I like best for calming and stress. I like it on my wrists, um, on my chest, like over my heart area, and on the very, very back of my neck. And then I'm able just to smell, and then I smell my hands, and it's a really great way to just calm yourself, center yourself, um, give yourself that emotional stability that you need. Um, I diffuse all the time. <laughs> I start our day off with diffusing. So that is just a, I've, it's just a part of our day. I have diffusers in all different areas of my house and I even have put diffusers at my daughter's school. And I am happy to donate the oils to them so that they can experience this with the children as well. So some of my favorite things. Balance. You gotta have balance. And it's one of the free oils this month so you just gotta have it. It, does, it goes a long way to help to reduce the cortisol in your body, which is the stress hormone. Um, lavender is a go-to. Uh, cedar wood, actually. It's a wood oil, so all those wood oils are very grounding um, because think of a tree. A tree has these roots, right, that go down into the ground and they're very stable, so that's essentially what it's helping to do for you emotionally. Um, of course, serenity uh, is a standby. That's also free this month. Um, Pedigrain, which isn't often one we would think of for um, de-stressing and calming, but in combination with the other oils, it works really, really well. So uh, Pedigrain is what we call the manly lavender. It's the masculine form of lavender. Lavender is a very floral scent, um, and Pedigrain is a little more grassy. So um, a lot of times the guys like that one a little bit better. Uh, and also, I love the new yoga oils. They were just released this week, and they are just fantastic. I can't, I can't say enough about them. And they're not just for your yoga practice. Let's say you weren't, you, you don't practice yoga. You can still use these for a really great way of just balancing you emotionally, de-stressing you. Align is a beautiful oil. Um, I really love Arise. It's, I'm a, a fan of the citrus oils. They actually calm me down, but they, I'm the kind of person that needs to be calmed down and then lifted up. <laughs> so that's what those do for me. So diffusing them, putting them on, use them throughout the day. Okay, that's key. Uh, also, healthy gut. 
we've got to have a healthy gut, especially when we're going through these changes that happen in the fall. So the gut microbes really affect the working, uh, the work of sleep and stress reactivity of the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. Lots of words. Um, that just means that all the different kinds of bacteria in your gut, they play a role in how you sleep and what your mood is and in your hormonal state. So what's going on in your gut? Let's say you've got a really imbalanced gut and you've got just you're overrun with the bad bacteria. That's going to affect your sleep. That's going to probably make you pretty depressed. And it, your hormones will be completely out of whack. So that's one of the first things I like to recommend to people when they're dealing with those issues is let's look at the gut and let's look at what's going on there because that is where your health is. <clears throat> it's also where your immune system is, which is really important for us to be building and paying attention to any time there is a weather or a seasonal change, right? Whether, like I said at the beginning, whether it's a change from spring to summer or summer to fall, whatever it is. So we need to eat the right forms of probiotics, right? Getting those probiotics in our diet is important. So, you know, eating a really good organic yogurt, um, that doesn't have all those extra sugars in it because the sugar is just going to decrease your immune system, which is what we're trying to build. Um, things like kefir. Uh, you could drink kombucha, but again, you kind of want to be careful with the sugar content in kombucha. Um, also, sauerkraut is a wonderful form, a real, the real sauerkraut, right? Not something that's been uh, pasteurized in a can, but you can go out and get the real sauerkraut, and it's a great source of probiotics. But, you know, it's hard to eat those things in enough of their quantity, quantity to be really helpful for our body. So, doTERRA has PB Assist and PB Assist Junior. And we use both of those in our house and we love them. Uh, the PB Assist has completely shifted and changed my own body and my gut health. And I take it daily. And the PB Assist Junior is great for the kids. It comes in this little... It's like a little pixie stick, and they think it's just great. It tastes great, and they look forward to that every single day. So um, that's an important part of our, our routine, is letting them, making sure that we're getting that, those good probiotics. All right, number four, quality sleep. Sleep is where our body repairs. So it's so crucial to helping our body to function and helping our body to repair and renew. So lack of sleep really leads, I mean, research shows that that really leads to poor concentration, poor learning, and poor memory. So obviously, we want our kids who are in school all day, we want them to be able to focus and to learn and to remember all of what they need to remember. So they need to get enough sleep. So children ages 6 to 13, they need 9 to 11 hours of sleep a night. So maybe that means an earlier bedtime, whatever that means, using those calming oils right before bed so that they get calmed down enough to be able to go to sleep. That's one of my daughter's issues is that she'll just stay up and um, in her room and just has a hard time going to sleep. So I've created some oils specifically for her in her diffuser and we spray it on her pillow and we apply them to her. And um, that has helps her just to get ready to go to sleep. Um, teens, ages 14 to 18, they need eight to 10 hours a night. And adults need seven to nine hours. Now I know we've all experienced what lack of sleep can do for us. <laughs> and it's not a pretty picture, right? It doesn't help us to be happier. Um, we need that. We need that for our, our mental state, but also for the function of our body. So this is Serenity oils, great for this. Also, the Serenity capsules. And in a pinch, also, I've, I've tried this. It was an experiment, but I have taken the Serenity capsule and I popped it open because my kids aren't old enough to, to take uh, pills. And I've rubbed it on their feet. Um, and that was a fun experiment. Um, uh, I also rubbed, you know, put the Serenity oil in their diffusers and they slept very well that night. Um, 
Vetiver is a great oil to just help to calm the mind. Uh, it, vetiver is used a lot for focus, which is what it would help with when you're going to sleep and just calming you down. Um, juniper berry, Roman chamomile, and serenity. So that's uh, the blend I made for my daughter was vetiver, juniper berry, Roman chamomile, and serenity. And I put it in a spray bottle. And that's what we spray on the back of her neck, the bottoms of her feet. Um, I'll put uh, serenity and balance in the diffuser next to her bed. Um, peace oil is really great for sleep and just, again, bringing you down to a state where you can fall asleep. Um, lemon actually does that, much like vetiver, it helps to focus the brain so it will calm that mind chatter. Um, I have been loving lavender, ylang ylang, and wild orange in the diffuser. That has helped me. And you want to also make sure that you're hydrated. If our body's not really hydrated, if we're not drinking enough water, it's going to be, it's going to affect our sleep, right, and our quality of sleep. So making sure that you have some water, have a glass of water by your bed, um, making sure your room is cool and dark. Um, I can't sleep if I'm hot. So I turn the thermostat down, you know, anything I need to do to just really help me to get that good quality sleep. All right, and number five, our immune system. We focus on that immune system and how, you know, how do we build that? Well, with our kids in and out of the house, right, coming into contact with other children, they bring things home, it runs through the family, sometimes it runs through the family more than once, right, I think we've all experienced that. Um, how can we help with this? Well, the answer to that would be on guard. Um, on guard is, it's, it's the king oils for that immune system to me. Um, it's a fantastic blend. And the great thing is, is doTERRA has given it to us in lots of different forms, right? They have a whole on guard line there to help us with building our immune system. Um, you have the beadlets, right? They're these little tiny beadlets, it's like half a drop of oil in each one. And they're great, they, it's like a, they come in what's like a lipstick tube. And you can just pop it open and you just pop the beadlets in your mouth. You can swallow them or you can um, bite them and it'll be like a burst of cinnamon in your mouth. And um, that is a great way of just boosting your immune system. You can just pop them in your mouth throughout the day. Now, if your kids either don't like the flavor of it or they're, they're maybe just not old enough for that yet, um, just use the essential oil and you dilute it and you rub it on the bottoms of their feet. Um, I do it ev twice a day actually for my kids. In the morning when we get dressed and, and before we go to bed, we do On Guard on our feet um, in a blend with some other oils for immune support. Putting On Guard in that diffuser every single day so that you're breathing it in. It's cleansing the air, right? So when your child walks in and they've been exposed to lots of pathogens and germs and all sorts of things and they walk into your environment where you're diffusing on guard they're going to be breathing it in and it's going to help prevent the rest of the family from um, from catching whatever that child has brought into the house so it's a really important thing to be diffusing in our homes I try and diffuse it at least once a day and it smells great um, also hand sanitizer they have just made a really fantastic new On Guard hand sanitizer. Before, I would always make my own, and I, I still do that sometimes. I just get these spray bottles here, and I, I put just a few drops of On Guard in here, and I fill it up with just water, and then I would shake and just spray it down, and then I can use it as, on different things. Um, I can You could even spray it in your mouth if you wanted to. Um, but I love that they're pre-made one. It's really effective. It doesn't leave my hands um, greasy or wet. It's just really, it's really easy and nice. So my kids have uh, one for each of their backpacks and we have one for each one of our bags and even one for the kitchen. And um, that is a great alternative. We, we need to be using things um, that are natural to the body. And we know, research has told us that those hand gel hand sanitizers, I'm not going to say brand names, but they're not good for us. They are filled with chemicals that are destroying our good bacteria, which we already know 
you know, the, the bacteria in our gut is so important to our bodies. When we're using that hand gel, it's destroying that. And we need to protect that, right? And so when we're using something natural, like plant-based hand sanitizer, like with On Guard, it's a completely different story. It will kill all that needs to be killed, but it's natural to the body. It's not harsh on our systems. So a great alternative. They have foaming hand wash. I have one in each one of our bathrooms and at the kitchen sink. And um, you buy the pumps once and then you can just refill them. It's really great and convenient. They have a cleaner concentrate that's on guard and you only need like a teaspoon of concentrate to fill up a nice big glass spray bottle. And I just spray down everything. That's what I clean my entire house with. Um, they have on guard throat drops, which I always like to, um, I usually put that on my October LRP and get uh, like one or two of those bags because that's a great thing um, anytime you've got a scratchy throat or even if you just feel something coming on, just pop in one of those little throat drops and you can suck on it throughout the day. Um, that's really good. They're a little bit spicy for kids um, because of the cinnamon and the clove, um, but some kids really like them. So that's, an in, that's on an individual basis. Uh, and then they also have laundry detergent, which is really great too. So there's lots of ways for us to be able to help build our immune systems with the On Guard. What's most important is that we just use it, right? The oils aren't effective if we're not using them. So use it, and don't just use it once, use it continually, right? Uh, so anyways, that's just a little tidbit class on just how we can assist our bodies through the changes into fall. Now I'm gonna do another class um, closer to the end of the month, and I'm gonna go into much greater detail about this. So I'm gonna talk about supplements. I'm gonna talk about even more essential oils that we can use when our bodies are compromised. So tune in then. Um, I have it on my little class schedule, and uh, then you'll get more information about how to really support your body. Okay, if you've got questions, go ahead and put them in the comments and I will get to them. And I hope you guys have a great day. All right, bye.